Like, hi, do you remember this? I did this. Um, well, what I did with this was I embroidered on it on a video on my public blog, on this blog. I can't remember how long ago now. Um, anyway, the point is I'm going to work on it again because I want to put some in this page. Now, I can't decide whether to put it down here or whether to put something else down there and put it down here. But what I would like to do, because there's about eight different strips of fabric going on on here. So if I do it that way, I'm not going to get many different strips in. But if I do it that way, I'm going to get a selection of all the fabrics in Anna. And I'm not going to do anything whoop de doo or amazing with it. I'm just going to do some running stitch um, in different colours. So if I like, it's only that wide you see. So if I wanted to do it for here, but then if I put it over here, it would actually fit nicely in there, wouldn't it? What I'd have to do though, I think I'm going to have to trim this edge. Um, so if I just do some running stitch down here today in a couple of different colours, but not necessarily those colours. This is getting a bit sugary for me. It's not, um, it's okay. Uh, and it's not that it's going to be a massive whoop de doo piece of work and I'm going to work from it forever. It's literally just sampling, isn't it? But the sampling's informed me that this is a bit sugary. Um, but then having said that, the colours I've got here are a bit sugary. But maybe not as... Uh, they are, aren't There's no getting away from it. You can't tell a lie, Karen. Sugar, sugar central. But perhaps if I don't use the lemon, it's not going to be that bright. Maybe those three are a bit more muted than what's going on there. Maybe, anyway, we'll see. I'm only going to do the line and running stitch in one colour on camera because I don't want the video to go on all day. Um, I will just do that and get a sense of how it might look and probably demonstrate to you how I can't stitch a straight line without any markings. But God loves a trier, or so they tell me. So thread my needle. I, I mean, I can't believe, when I, I looked at this, I ordered all this the other day. There's a lot of white in here, I ordered a lot of white. But years and years and years ago, I would never be doing this work in colour, never. And I was actually told once that I was afraid of colour. And I was, I still am a little bit. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, I love, this coloured stuff I'm doing in the pockets, I love it, I really do love it. Completely and utterly drool worthy loving it. But it's, if I was to put myself in a box, that wouldn't be my box. So I'm learning about myself as well. It's weird. Um, but yeah, they're all sugary, aren't they, apart from the white. But I'm not a brownie person. I'm not a an earth tones person either. Oh well, never mind. As long as you're having fun, Karen. So, let's hope that I can stitch a relatively straight line with running stitch down here, just to see how it might look. So this bit I'm stitching over now is silk scrim, very extravagant of me and all. But when I had my day in London, my gathering, everyone got a little pocket of cloth. And that's why I ordered the silk scrim to put in the little pockets. But obviously I had to keep some for myself, didn't I? And then the second one is just cotton from John Lewis. The third one that I'm coming up to now is probably synthetic. It's like a, I don't know, like a shiny organza. And then I'm coming up to some silk that I bought in New York. And don't be thinking I'm a jet setter because even though I'm going away again in a couple of weeks, two years ago my daughter got married in Las Vegas. Oh no, it isn't. It's not actually. It's some brother on Glare's edging. Um, my daughter got married in Las Vegas, so we went to New York on the way home. That trip wouldn't have happened if my daughter hadn't been awkward. Instead of getting married around the corner. Right, so I don't know. It's not doing too bad straight wise. I'm like, can you even see that green? And then the next one I'm coming up to is some silk. Because it's deeply on that I use as a background. I'm sure I put some silk on here that I've got in New York. It's 
probably got lost in amongst everything. Oh God, what that Never mind. So. I don't you know. If it's not, it does need to be straight. Do you know what's going to happen, don't you? If this isn't perfectly straight, if I can't make this work because this line isn't straight enough, I'm going to have to unpick it and do it again. But don't worry, I won't make you suffer that. I won't do it on camera. But it might be nice to put on there as a little finishing touch for that page. It's not that. Um, I mean, I can move it so it's like that and then I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Because when I put the next lines of running stitch on, I'll use this as the guide. Right, and I'll take that to the back and fasten it off. So, this will be getting finished with three colours running stitch. Then it'll be getting cut out and then it'll be getting put in this book of mine. Which might be worth making the other pages and actually constructing this book. Right, so that will go there like that. And there'll be another two colours there. So what's happening is the strips that way aren't perfectly, well they're random anyway, they're not perfectly straight anyway, so I'll probably be back in a loser anyway, so let me just, there, no that is going to work, it'll be wider than that, but, and then another two colours and that'll come down there, okay, so, but don't hold your breath. I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe in the next week or so, I don't know. Okay.